Here we are at the HR Expo, and I have met Joe. Joe, tell us about yourself and tell us what you do. Uh, I'm the product manager at Parker Sportland. I'm in charge of our Zoomlock product line, along with our solenoids and ball valves and other product lines. But primarily, I think today we want to talk about our Zoomlock Max and Zoomlock Push product. How long have you been doing this? this? I've actually been in this role for about a year. Okay. Prior to this, I was a product engineer with our company. Engineer, wow, yes. that's so, awesome. So I have an engineering degree, so I was a mechanical design engineer. So I didn't do this design, but I worked on other products, did, did some design work. One thing people don't understand in engineering is how much detail goes into what seems oh. like simple things. Oh yes, it, it's amazing. The simplest project will drag because so many details, so many tests, so many small things you got to cross off the list to make sure everything works great. I wanted to be an engineer, but then I realized dyslexia and my bad math wasn't a great combination. <laughs> Uh, so it's really cool to see you started out from the engineering side of things mm -hmm. and you're moving over to this. So now we talked about this zoom lock fitting and there's a lot of misconceptions. I would really love if you would demonstrate it from you instead of me having uh, all the misconceptions. Oh yeah, sure. It. I mean, so these fittings, very robust, very strong, leak-free fittings, very simple to install. Um, we can walk through that process. Sure. Hard copper fitting, they're used for hard and soft copper connections. So wide variety. We have plenty of different options of fittings. We have Couplers, reducing couplers, elbows, 45s, T's, SI, wide variety of fittings go from a quarter inch to all the way to one and three eighth inch fittings. And then we are coming out soon with one and five eighths and two and one eighth fittings wow. to, to get to those big, big jobs, right? So, That's some big stuff. Yeah, get some big stuff, big refrigeration type customers there. So how long does this hold? How long does this last? I mean, it's built to last the life of the system. So it's going to stay in there. We do have a 15 year warranty on the product, but I mean, it, reality will last much longer than that. It's supposed to stay with the system, the life system. So obviously we know the benefits not having to have a torch in, especially yeah. in places like New York where you yep. have fire permits, fire wire stations. Yeah. You can just bring this in and do your crimp on it. So let's let's talk about that. You know, there's a lot of advantages to it. You don't have to bring your torch. You don't, don't have to um, nitrogen purge. It keeps the system clean. All right. right. No so, oxidation. We've talked yes, about that all the time. Yes. Quick. I mean, it's fast. It's also easy to learn. A lot of technicians doing those braised joints, especially some of the hard to reach stuff. I mean, it's complicated. It's not the easiest thing to do. So this, no matter where the joint is, as long as you get the tool on the job, that you can get a nice braised-free, leak-free type connection. So. so typically when people say that they don't like this product, from what I see, a lot of times it's how they do it or not being trained to really understand yeah. what's happening with it. So, so how do we make this connection? So this connection is quite simple, but there are a couple key steps to follow just to make sure we got a nice, clean connection. So let's just assume we cut this with a normal pipe cutter, right? So not, not a ha hacksaw. Yeah, not a hacksaw, not a hacksaw. <laughs> so a normal cutter like that, you know, go around it. But that usually does, it creates a little burr on the inside, Correct. right? Yes. So we all know that. So you definitely want to deburr that. I mean, this is common practices for brazing even, right? So you take a little tool, you deburr that inside edge. You want to knock that burr off there. Also though, you want to take the other side, make sure that that burr on the outside edge. So that's key because there's an O-ring inside this fitting and you don't want a, a sharp lip there that might potentially cause a cut in that fitting. That's primarily that's when there's leaks or something like that, which is very rare, it would be because they, that was not done. Interesting. See, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I so, learned something new just so now. That, that is very critical to make sure you do that. You kind of make sure you get that edge knocked off. I mean, it does not long. It's what, a couple seconds right there, right? Yeah. But that takes that sharp edge off. And then the next step is you need to take some scotch bright sandpaper, something like that, and just kind of clean that surface. You want a nice, right. clean surface, right? You want, want to make sure. Even if nothing. you're brazing. You yeah, I mean, want a clean so surface. far, nothing I've done is much different than what you would do in brazing, right? So just clean that just like that, nice and clean. So then you take, this is our depth gauge. You want to make sure you get your fitting all the way inserted in. You, you got to make sure you get all the way to the, past the O-ring and to that stop. So Makes sense. You just very simply put it in here, take a marker, do a quick mark on the fitting. Very simply, it shows you the depth that you need to go. So then you just take your fitting and just press it together. Okay. Quite simple like that. Very simple. We personally sell the, the two Rothenberger jaws you see here. We have our Romex 4000 and the twin turbo. This is a 24 kilonewton. This is a 32 kilonewton. And we have the respective jaws that come with it. These okay. jaws also work on many of the other tools in the industry, Rigid, Milwaukee. I mean, if you go to our website, zoomlockmax.com, there's a full list of compatible tools and jaws. So you definitely want the right jaws. And uh, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, that, that, that's a big one there. We're so. going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, sorry. So no, so yeah, if you go to our website, it has the full list of what jaws and just go to the tool. So if you already have a tool, if you do plumbing or something like that, you might already have a press tool. Well, you don't need to buy a new tool, you just need to buy the right jaws. So okay. really simply, you just open up this, okay. put the fitting right in the center, right around that O-ring there, okay. and then you just press the button. And you go through, you pull the button until it's done, full cycle, and it comes close, and then you're done. 
you have a nice leak-free joint, right? So there. we again have the easy button. The easy button, right? Um, and no flames. I don't have no to worry flame. about anything catching the fire you in the backside. Yeah, don't have to melt the insulation. You don't have to worry about doing anything like that. You got a nice, secure, strong leak-free connection. In no time. And how long have these been around? We had a previous product that was out on the market about five or six years. We've got some market feedback, we found some improvements. Shorter lay-in lanes, hard copper so they don't dent. Some packaging that individually pack, keep them clean. So this is our new version. This one's been out close to a year and a half, two years. Now you also have another method of doing it without the uh, without the jaws that recently came out. Is that? Yeah, that's true. We have our Zoom Lock Push product as well, right. which is very similar, but does not require the tool and the jaw. Let's uh, take a look at that. Yeah. So we talked about the really cool depressed fittings, but now we have something else that's kind of new to the market. This is something I haven't really got to play with a lot. We'll let the uh, professional Joe tell us about uh, this product. Yeah, so this is our Zoomlot Push product. It's a push to connect. Previously, we talked about our press to connect. This is push, does not require the tool or the jaw. So it's a lot simpler investment, smaller investment for the person to start using Braze Group technology. We do have pre full product line. We have couplings, elbows, and SAE flares. The ideal market for this would be kind of residential AC. You know, the guys who's not really doing tons of connections every day, but a couple don't want to invest in the tool or the jaw. Okay. This is the product for them. We'll have a lot of people wanting to learn air conditioning, wanting to practice with stuff, and they don't have the torch set. So, and this is really brass. This is quite heavy. Quite oh, yeah, thick. it's solid. It's solid brass, robust. And can you reuse this? We like to call them removable, not reusable. When you take them out and put them back in, there's a lot of variables. I'm More than likely, you'll be okay. You could, you could try it. probably will work. Definitely, if it's installed for a year, two years, I would throw away getting a new one. Right? That makes yeah. sense. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Now, if we're pulling a vacuum, how low uh, are they rated for in vacuum? Size? Um, I think 200 microns. I mean, it's the same as our other product. I mean, right. it can pretty, go pretty tight. Yeah. Now, again, just want to make it clear that I have no connection at all with the ZoomLock or any of these products or brands. Uh, Joe, we just met just like, like ten five, minutes ago. Yeah, ten, five, five, ten minutes ago. So. This is just stuff I find interesting, stuff we've talked about a little bit before. We got it straight from the professional to, to understand and be able to explain that to us. They have a ton of more products and stuff. This is just some of the stuff that we've talked about a lot before, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to share this with you. Now again, I want you to know that a lot of a lot of vendors here have really pushed us out. They don't want to do anything with us, they don't want to talk with us. So we have vendors that are willing to share their product and they're proud of their product. They want to showcase it. I really have a ton of respect for that. And uh, Joe, I really appreciate you coming yeah. in. Now, one last thing, we have a lot of viewers that are coming in and are new to the trade. What advice, what recommendations would you have for those viewers? I mean, just learn as much as possible, right? I, I watch videos, it. watch, try to get as much information as possible about all everything out there, right? There, there's new technology every year. You need to make sure you're, you're available for that information. You know, there's always a better way to do something, right? That, you know, kind of the engineering background can't be satisfied with the status quo. You always got to develop, got to get better. I love so. that. Always, always got to improve and get better. Yeah. So it's really cool meeting somebody from an engineer that's moved yep. over to another aspect. And again, we've talked to several people that had different backgrounds that got into different parts of HVAC. And it's just, you're unlimited. You can never learn everything about this trade. There's so much. You can specialize in something. You can then learn something else, keep adding to it. But I do love this trade. And Joe, I mean, I really appreciate yeah, your time. Th thank you for your time in. as well.